I bought this little four foot brush cutter to fit my Kubota tractor. I've been needing something like that. It's got a belt drive instead of a gearbox, which gearbox is probably heavier duty, but the good thing about a belt drive is if it gets in a bind, all it's going to do is break the belt, and belts are cheap to replace. If you get in a bind and break a gearbox, that's not cheap to fix. Usually when you see something like this when it, with a belt drive, it's a mower. But this actually is a brush cutter. See, it's got heavy duty swinging blades. Whereas a, a mower will have a fixed blade that's not very heavy duty. These swinging blades will uh, knock back, you know, they'll, they'll deflect if it hits a rock or something like that instead of breaking. So, I think this will do a good job for me. And I bought it for the little Kubota, which I've done videos of before. It's a good running little tractor. But, uh, needs some wheels and tires. So, I gave 300 bucks for this brush cutter. But wait, it came with more. So for $300, in addition to the brush cutter, I also got this. It doesn't run. I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to use these wheels on the Kubota. I feel like I got a pretty good deal even though it doesn't run. And I mean, this engine is never gonna run again. Okay, so the head is off the engine and I don't even have the head for it. The pistons are stuck in their bores. I can see the cam down in there, but the lifters and push rods are gone. missing a couple of head studs and let's see if I can get a shot of this I saw something interesting though, and uh, it was just a photo, and it was in South America, and it was a Ford F-350 that had the original block and crank in it with the pistons and rods removed, and I guess the cam too, and it had plates on top of the cylinders. And uh, and then it had a, a little single cylinder diesel engine, about 12 horsepower or something like that, just like the my generator engine that I've made videos of. It had one of those sitting on top of the engine block and belt driving 
the pulley on the front of the original engine, on the front of the crankshaft. The engine was sitting up here and belt driving that to spin the crankshaft so that uh, it was both a mounting point for the little diesel engine and also was using the original clutch. That's a possibility. You know, I might be able to make this so that it'll at least move around under its own power. It won't do much work that way, but, you know, of course I wouldn't wouldn't waste a uh, an expensive diesel engine on something like that unless I got a cheap, you know, got something cheap, but uh, more likely something like a Harbor Freight gasoline engine, a 212 or something like that, because this was only 20 horsepower, and uh, in the lower gears, 7 horsepower ought to move it around. I don't know. Just a possibility for experimentation, anyway, that'll keep everything all together. But uh, for now, I'm just going to, the wheels are going to come off and go on the other tractor so that I could do some cutting around here. <laughs> 